Hi everyone, I'm Marina, a product manager at Skillsoft. Today I'm showing you five tips on how to work with tables on Monday call. Let's jump right in. So as you see, I'm already on Monday board and uh, here comes the first tip. Think of your board as a table. Actually, indeed, it's a table. You can perform all the actions with it as you get used to working with tables, for example, sort it. Let's add a new sorting by policy, hold the names, and we can even save it as a view to have it in a quick access. But it's better to represent this case with um, filtering. Let's filter it by, for example, this policy holder name and save it as a new view. Now you can quickly access this data by this customer. Also, you can group data on your board by different logical parts. For example, here I have policies in work, but uh, if I want to have all the policies, for example, also the finished class, I can create the groups and add policies here by, um, for example, different statuses that um, are finished and so on. But it also can be like teams, uh, timelines, uh, departments uh, and stages of work that you can separate the data on your board. Uh, the next uh, thing that is uh, a must for working with tables is different column types. Uh, you can pick this column type when adding a new column. I have here already status column, number column, eight column, and these column types actually unlock different features for you. Uh, so let's, um, for example, consider a, a formula column that helps you to perform calculations with your columns on a board. What if you want, to, for example, calculate the premium for policy type? Let's do it like this. We can have here a formula and useful example on how to, to use the syntax for this formula. Let's choose it and refer to the policy type column. We have um, auto policy type and let's pick it here. It means that for this policy type, we give $50. In case it's other policy types, we give $60 for it. And let's set this formula. And as you see, it propagates automatically to all the column rows. But what if you need to perform more advanced calculations with the familiar spreadsheet field? We got you back at Steelsoft. We developed the app Smart Spreadsheet for Monday. You can install it on the Monday Marketplace and try it out for 14 days. And it actually helps you to add a spreadsheet almost everywhere on your Monday. Let's, for example, add it as a board view. And we can see here the cool part that you can work both with local files and import them or import your board. And as you see, uh, all the groups are imported and formatting saved. Even your formulas are converted into spreadsheet syntax. But let's try to, for example, use more advanced calculations in Monday and um, calculate the dates until policy expiration. We can use the formula that is called date value. Uh, pick here the end date and subtract today. I did something wrong. Yes, I have extra brackets. And here we have uh, the number of days and deposit expression. We can propagate this formula and it automatically calculates it for all the rows. Or for example, we can find the upsell opportunities for, um, for example, for auto policy type. Here we can make use of the end formula and uh, pick this uh, auto policy type and, uh, and compare it to the threshold, for example, in $4,000. Let's pick the current amount called and set this condition. Now we can find the uh, policy auto policy type that is under the sun and try to find some of sell opportunities for it. The next tip here is to import your spreadsheet data into a board. You can do it by adding a new item into your workspace and finding this option to import data and pick Excel or Google Sheets files and then um, map the columns into your spreadsheet to columns on the board and uh, pick the types for these columns. Let's try it out. 
let's customize it. And as you see, all the columns correspond to columns on the board. And then you pick a column type here for this, for each column. Let's create a board. As you see, now you have a board uh, from your spreadsheet and you can make use of different uh, collaboration opportunities on Monday, once creating a board from spreadsheet, some automation capabilities and so on. Let's face it, sometimes it's not really convenient to work with large data sets on Monday in a board view. So you may prefer to work with them in Excel or Google Sheets and switch back and forth the solutions. So it's not really convenient and time efficient. So we also covered this case in the Smart Spreadsheet app for Monday. And uh, here's the tip, by the way. So you can add our Smart Spreadsheet as an object here, the same way as you just added uh, Excel and Google Sheets in the fourth tip. And uh, import your local table into a spreadsheet and work with it directly on Monday. As you see, we have here pivot tables, capabilities, charts, yeah, everything that is available in Excel or Google Sheets that helps you to process your data. So now I hope with these simple features on Monday and the power of Smart Spreadsheet for Monday, you can unlock new insights and process your data more efficiently on Monday. But in case you need to, need to know more about our app, you can reach out to me via the link in the description and I can show you around the app and demonstrate additional capabilities of it. So I hope to see you.